Okay, um, so now we're in track testing mode. So to change the track, what we did was um, we actually unplugged the power, f uh, sorry, let's start from here. We switched this off, okay? Uh, so you have to exit the application. This is so that the uh, controller gets re reinitialized when we turn everything back on. And so it's a bit gonna be a bit safer. Um, so what we did then was to unplug the DCC, uh, the the E-Link control from the back because the taking it off the plug doesn't seem to work for, for some reason. Uh, I probably pressed the wrong power button. Um, and what we've done is we switched the cables onto track mode. So um, and the rest of the setup is exactly the same. We've got our train on our track. Um, uh, just just there, and. Uh, we've then started up the software. It's uh, it's initialized. We've got to our screen now. At the moment, we've got um, over over here. We've got our uh, controller for locomotive nine, and because um, it shot off the, <laughs> off the <laughs> thing just before, we uh, um, I'm going to run it in turtle mode, uh, yeah. and then go straight to the all stop or or the 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 red hand here. So. Um, okay, here here goes. I'm going to put the camera on the on the train though, so we can see that going. <laughs> no, leave it. So, okay, and so I'm just pressing the turtle button. Can I do both? No, uh, it's probably not, probably not worth it. It's probably not worth it, but uh, yeah, it's forward at the moment. Yeah. Um, okay, so right, go on, man. turtles away, and there we go. I know he's the girl stopped it. Okay, so that is simply testing testing the loco IDs uh, that they work properly. Okay.